I used to know a man who was observant about portrayal of race in the media. He once pointed out something about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animation, which I've never heard anybody else say. All four heroes, Leonardo, Raphael, Michelangelo, and Donatello, were named after Italians. In contrast, there were two villains named Bebop and Rocksteady. Bebop was the name of a style of jazz music played in the 1940s and 50s, dominated by African-American performers. Rocksteady was the name of a style of music from the 1960s in Jamaica. This is not to mention that the character of Bebop was a warthog and Rocksteady a rhinoceros, both African animals. So the man who told me this was suggesting the filmmakers had hidden messages associating white people with goodness and black people with evil. I thought this was very interesting and it made sense. But when I discussed this observation with multiple people, I heard three basic reasons to disagree. So what I'm going to do now in this video is list the three different reasons I've heard to disagree and then go back and respond to each one with my own personal opinion. Reason number one, one person said the turtles were named after Italians and Italians have always been badly stereotyped in the media as well. Reason number two, another person pointed out that the people who named the four turtles were not the same people who named Bebop and Rocksteady. The turtles were created and named by Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird for the Ninja Turtles comic book which started in 1984. But the characters Bebop and Rocksteady first appeared in the animated series which started in 1987. Therefore, it was the people behind that animated series who thought of naming the two villains, Bebop and Rocksteady. And reason number three, another person pointed out that Bebop and Rocksteady were both voiced by white actors, suggesting if the creators were trying to make us associate Bebop and Rocksteady with black people, then they would have wanted black actors to do their voices. Okay, so those are the three things I've heard to argue the original theory, and now I'll go over my personal opinion one by one. First off, the idea that Italian Americans have always been badly stereotyped in the media? I agree with this 100%. However, I think it's irrelevant to the issue here. I can say that in movies and TV shows, Italians are only shown as either thugs and gangsters or else buffoons and bimbos. In reality, Italian Americans can be doctors, lawyers, politicians, or even rocket scientists. But this is something you'd never guess from watching movies and TV shows. Much of this is the fault of certain Italian Americans themselves who have made a lot of money by badly stereotyping their own nationality and encouraging other Italian Americans to think it's cool to badly stereotype their own nationality. Anyway, I could go on much further about this issue of Italian stereotypes in the media. In fact, I'd be happy to make a whole video about this subject if viewers put requests in the comments below. However, this video here is supposed to be about whether or not the Ninja Turtles animation had hidden racist messages against black people, and I feel this issue about Italian stereotypes in other movies is not relevant here. Number two, the fact that the people who named the four Ninja Turtles were not the same people who named Bebop and Rocksteady. I feel this issue is a lot more relevant and it's left up to our own speculation to answer if these people had different ideas about which cultures these characters' names should be associated with. Did Eastman and Laird name the turtles after Italians in an effort to get kids to subconsciously associate white people with goodness? And did the creators of the animation name Bebop and Rocksteady to get viewers to subconsciously associate black people with evil? I don't have enough information to make a strong accusation, but if I had to tell you my gut feeling, it would be this. Eastman and Laird did not name the turtles in an effort to associate white people with goodness. I think they simply thought it would be funny to name the turtles after legendary renaissance artists, and that's it. However, it does seem to me like the creators of the animation were trying to associate cultures of black people with evil. Note that Bebop and Rocksteady were not one character, they were two. And both were named after completely different pieces of culture associated with black people. And both were animals from Africa. This seems like too many different things adding up for it to be just a coincidence. I can't say I know anything for sure, and if you have any other points of view, I encourage you to write them in the comments below. I'd be very interested in reading other ways this can be interpreted. Number three, the last issue is that the voice actors for these characters were white people. 
Someone argued that if the filmmakers wanted us to subconsciously associate these characters with black people, then they would surely want those characters to have the voices of black people. I feel this is a pretty valid argument. And this issue was the most difficult for someone like me to second guess, because films and animations have such a large crew of people working on them, and I don't know which crew members did what. For example, who exactly first thought of the names Bebop and Rocksteady and what they should look like? Was it the writers or the producers? Or were they the same people? And how closely were the producers involved with the casting director's choices for voice actors? I feel I would need a lot more information here before I'd be able to make any guess that's even worth saying out loud. That's about all I can say on this issue. So in conclusion, it's difficult for us to second guess what ideas were inside the writers' heads. We'll never know if this was done intentionally subconsciously, or what. But the idea of movies, TV shows, or animations using hidden messages to subconsciously put racist attributes in viewers' minds is not acceptable. And in the future, the media should make a stronger effort not to do this again. That's my view. So, do you agree or disagree with what I've said? Would you like to point out anything I might not have noticed? Please leave it all in the comments below, and please hit subscribe. Thank you.